Hello, welcome to Sips with Chips. I was listening to Carl Jacobson in one of his recent videos and he was talking about how only about 3% of woodworkers are also wood turners. And he describes the wood lathe as one of the most versatile um, tools in the workshop. And so today I wanted to do a little project where I can, you know, I'm going to use my wood lathe to repair something. I'm going to use my wood lathe to repair a lamp that my wife bought recently. So this is the lamp that my wife bought. And it's, it has a nice uh, chrome stand. And she found this shade and she found this lamp separately. And she wanted to combine the two. And the problem she was having is keeping this lamp shade on here. You see, the lampshade was made with this very large mounting ring and the lamp doesn't have anything to mount it on. So I'm going to make an adapter for it that will help uh, properly uh, attach this lampshade to this lamp. And with the wood lathe, it's really pretty easy to do. So, like all projects, make sure you read, understand, and follow all the instructions that come with your power tools and equipment. Woodworking is fun, but it's also important to work safely. So this is my blank that I'm going to start with. And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this spur. Pound that in just slightly. Fine. And this is, I'm going to use a cupped uh, tailpiece, live center. I pretty much expect it to be um, off center, out of balance, but that's okay. It's not going to take a whole lot to chew it. So I have my apron on and my face shield. And I'm going to start turning at 500 just to check the balance. Might speed it up. Let's start with a roughing gouge, just like a three-quarter. Sometimes they call them all one inch, but it's probably about a three-quarter. And I think I can go up a little faster. Okay, that's 850. forget to take off my ring. Looks like you need a little bit more.
Well, that's sufficiently round. So I need to put a tenon on it. And I want my tenon to be 50 millimeters. So I have my calibers ready. And I have my uh, parting tool. Do it. And I'm going to take my, uh, my skew chisel and just uh, dovetail it slightly. to keep it centered. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. Anything this short, it's not going to flex. Next thing I need to do is turn it down to exactly two inches. I'll set my caliper to two inches. And two inches is pretty close to 50 millimeters. Well, I should be. So they can go down just a little bit. And that's so the outside of the ring on the uh, shade will uh, sit properly. This is my original design and so there's going to be a cap and there's going to be a base part and the actual thicknesses doesn't matter as long as the total thickness is less than, than about an inch and a half. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole through this, through these two pieces in my blank. And that hole is going to be, uh, it's going to be a little bit over uh, three-eighths of an inch in diameter. And that's going to be about uh, ten, about ten millimeters. So this drill bit is 27 64 just slightly larger than, than um, this shaft that I'm going to put in here, this threaded piece of pipe. I'm going to turn this back down to 500 RPMs. This drill bit is 27 64 a little bit larger than the piece of uh, threaded pipe I'm going to put through there.
that sh that should fit fine. So this isn't going to take very much shaping. So I'm just going to use a uh, my round nose here, and still spinning at uh, 850 RPMs. take it down to a diameter about one and a half inches. And I'm just going to use my parting tool for that. My uh, calipers are set to one and a half inches. Let's see how big that is. A ways to go. About that long. It needs to be about a, about a quarter inch. Before I go much uh, further, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and sand this. And I'll do that offline. I'm ready to part this off. Just use my one eighth parting tool. Roll up my sleeve so I don't get anywhere near the chuck. So on this side, I need to mark about where my inch and a half should be. That should be fine. And I'm, I'm going to fit it as I go anyhow. And for this I can probably just use my parting tool. It doesn't have to be very fancy or very well finished.
Okay, so I just need to make this a little bit larger. So that's okay on size. Now I need to make it deeper because it still needs to be about uh, well, a sixteenth of an inch deeper. Nice and snug. Okay. Now with this in here, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, get this down to match the diameters. It really doesn't matter that much because one side will be on one side. So <laughs> each piece will be on a different side of the uh, lampshade, so you'll never get to compare them to each other. Just going to use a curved skew chisel. in here I'm gonna go ahead and use that as a jam chuck and I'm gonna get rid of those uh, notches left over by the, the spur Gave this a coat of uh, sanding sealer. I'm ready to part it off. So, there's my two pieces. My shade will go in here and this will be on the inside and I'll epoxy those together. I've mixed my epoxy and I'm going to spread a little bit on, mostly on the uh, rim here and on the inside of the part. Mix it mostly on here because I want it to fit the rim. And this is the bottom side. This is the bottom we're looking at. So this is going to go 
down that way. And this one too, I'm going to mix epoxy mostly on this edge to hold them together. And so this goes from the underside like this, and this goes from the top side like that. that fits in there properly and then I'm gonna clamp it with the spring clamp and I need to let that set for at least 10 minutes okay while the epoxy is curing I'm gonna work on this part here I already moved that shaft and this little shaft is, is shorter and it's hollow and I'm gonna screw that in like that and then just take a wrench Half inch, and I'm gonna take a wrench and just tighten it snugly. And that way, when I put the little cap on here, it won't uh, move. Okay. Now this part is ready. Put that on. And then just add this decorative top. Or I can use this little chrome one that was here. I guess I'll use, I guess I'll use this chrome one that was on there. That'll fit better. And now, it's permanent. Well, here's my finished lamp. It's functional now. It works better. It doesn't fall off. Lights come on. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, click on like. If you're um, not a subscriber, click on subscribe. If you're not a member of YouTube, uh, sign up for an account. It's quick. It's easy. You can uh, ask questions, get answers and leave comments and that's really the important part and um, just wanted to let you know I really appreciate everybody watching and all the nice comments that I have gotten and uh, I now have um, over 4,500 uh, subscribers which I, I really appreciate your your uh, dedication and for subscribing to, the, to uh, my uh, videos and I have uh, about 64 videos out there now and I uh, hope to someday get to 100 uh, videos. That would be great. So, uh, I uh, appreciate you uh, watching. I really thank you. You guys uh, enjoy your day. Have fun. And uh, we'll see you again soon.